The early 20th century was a time of great change and upheaval. Amidst this turmoil, a quiet Swiss scholar named Paul Amadeus Dinak lived a seemingly ordinary life. Little did the world know that Dinak held a secret, a claim so extraordinary that it would challenge our understanding of time itself. Born in the late 1800s, he lived a relatively unremarkable life as a teacher of languages. But beneath the surface of this ordinary man lay an extraordinary claim. Dinak claimed to have experienced something beyond the realm of human comprehension, a journey through time to the distant future. Dinak claimed to have spent an entire year living in the year 3906, experiencing firsthand the wonders and challenges of a world centuries ahead of his own. His story, recorded in a diary that surfaced years later, would become the subject of intense debate and speculation. Dinak's journey to the future began unexpectedly with a medical crisis. In 1921, while living in Greece, he fell into a year-long coma due to a severe illness. It was during this period of unconsciousness that Dinak claimed his consciousness transcended the confines of time. According to Dinak's account, he awoke in a hospital bed, but not in the same hospital where he had fallen ill. He found himself surrounded by people speaking a language he didn't understand, using strange and advanced technology. He soon learned that he was no longer in the year 1922, but had somehow arrived in the year 3906. The people of 3906, he claimed, were aware of his situation. They called this phenomenon conscious transference and assured him that it was a rare but documented occurrence. Intrigued and terrified in equal measure, Dinak resolved to learn as much as he could about this future world. He spent the next year interacting with the people of 3906, absorbing their knowledge and observing their way of life. He learned their language, studied their history, and marveled at their technological advancements. Throughout his year in the future, Dinak kept a detailed diary, recording everything he witnessed and experienced. However, upon returning to his own time, Dinak found himself burdened by the weight of his experience. Knowing that his story would be met with skepticism, Dinak confided in only a few close friends, sharing his diary with them for safekeeping. And so, the legend of Paul Amadeus Dinak, the man who claimed to have lived in the year 3906, was born. The year 1921, amidst the backdrop of a world recovering from war, held a life-altering event for Paul Dinak. While residing in Greece, a severe illness gripped him, plunging him into a coma. The world as he knew it faded into a dark abyss. His scholarly pursuits and quiet life put on an indefinite hold. For a year, Dinak lay in a state of unconsciousness. His doctors, baffled by his condition, could only offer their best care and hope for his recovery. Time, usually a constant, seemed to warp around Dinak's comatose form. The coma, meant to be a period of oblivion, was in fact a prelude to an extraordinary awakening. When Dinak finally regained consciousness, the world that greeted him was jarringly unfamiliar. Gone were the sterile white walls and hushed whispers of the Greek hospital. In their place stood a room bathed in soft, pulsating light filled with the hum of unseen machinery. Strangers clad in simple form-fitting attire bustled around him, speaking in a language that sounded both melodic and utterly alien. Fear, cold and sharp, pierced through his confusion as he realized the gravity of his predicament. He was a stranger in a strange land, a castaway on the shores of a future he could scarcely comprehend. Sleek, metallic devices, unlike anything he had ever seen, lined the walls, their purpose a complete mystery. This was something different, something that whispered of incredible advancements and unsettling possibilities. The people of this future, observing his distress, approached with a calm assurance that did little to quell the turmoil within him. They identified themselves as citizens of the year 3906, their words sending a jolt of disbelief through Dinak's weakened frame. Conscious transference, they called it, a rare occurrence where, during moments of extreme physical stress, the human mind could leap forward through time, leaving its physical shell behind. Dinak, the unassuming scholar, was now a living paradox, a man out of time, thrust into a future he never sought. The implications of this revelation were staggering. Faced with an impossible situation, Dinak made a decision. He would embrace the unknown. Guided by the citizens of 3906, he began the arduous task of acclimating to his new reality. He immersed himself in their language, their customs, their way of life, determined to understand the world that was to come. He witnessed firsthand the marvels of their technology. Soaring cities that scraped the sky, vehicles that glided effortlessly above the ground, and devices that could heal the sick and communicate across continents in an instant. His diary became his sanctuary, a repository for his observations, his thoughts, and his struggles to reconcile the world he knew with the world he now inhabited. For a year, he lived as a man of two times, his mind a bridge between the past and the future. He chronicled their achievements, their struggles, their hopes, and their fears. A world transformed glimpses of 3906. 
Imagine, if you will, stepping out of your own skin, your own time, and finding yourself flung centuries into the future. This was Dinak's reality, his waking dream as he navigated the year 3906. The world, once familiar, had undergone a metamorphosis so complete it was like stepping onto an alien planet, breathtakingly beautiful and strangely unsettling. Gone were the sprawling, chaotic cities of the early 20th century. In their place stood gleaming metropolises, towering structures that seemed to kiss the clouds, interconnected by shimmering threads of energy. Transportation had taken on a fantastical air, with sleek, silent vehicles gliding effortlessly through the air, leaving behind no trace of their passing. The very air hummed with a subtle energy, a testament to the technological prowess of this future age. The hum of progress technology in Dianak's future. For a man of science and reason, the technological advancements of 3906 must have been both exhilarating and bewildering. Dianak found himself surrounded by devices that seemed ripped from the pages of science fiction, their workings a mystery to his 20th century mind. People communicated through sleek devices worn on their wrists, their thoughts and words transmitted instantaneously across vast distances. Holographic projections flickered to life with a gesture displaying information, entertainment, even loved ones separated by continents. Advanced medical technology allowed for the diagnosis and treatment of illnesses with an efficiency that bordered on the miraculous. A tapestry of unity, the social fabric of 3906. The most profound changes, however, were not in the realm of steel and circuits, but in the very heart of humanity itself. Dianak found himself in a world where war, poverty and inequality were relics of a bygone era. The people of 3906, he observed, had evolved beyond the divisions of race, religion and nationality, embracing a shared sense of global citizenship. Education, he learned, was no longer a privilege but a fundamental right, accessible to all. Cooperation, not competition, was the driving force behind their progress, a testament to their shared understanding of humanity's interconnectedness, the lingering shadows' challenges on the horizon. Despite this utopian facade, Dinak's observations weren't without their notes of caution. The people of 3906, he noted, were not devoid of challenges. Overpopulation, it seemed, remained a concern, albeit one they had managed to mitigate through sustainable practices and advanced technology. Dinak sensed a lingering anxiety about the potential for artificial intelligence to surpass human control, a fear that their creations might one day surpass their creators. Echoes of a forgotten world, contrasting 3906 with 1922. For Dianak, a man ripped from the fabric of the early 20th century, the world of 3906 stood in stark contrast to all he knew. The Europe he left behind, still reeling from the aftermath of the Great War, was a place of stark divisions, political turmoil and technological infancy. The contrast to this future world, with its peaceful global society and astounding technological advancements, must have been both awe-inspiring and deeply unsettling. Yet amidst these wonders, Dinak also observed echoes of his own time, reminders that certain human concerns transcended even the most radical societal shifts. The people of 3906, he noted, still grappled with the challenges of managing their resources, of balancing technological advancement with environmental sustainability, the ascent of mind, education, and enlightenment in Dinak's future. One of the most striking differences Dinak observed was the paramount importance placed on education and personal enlightenment in 3906. Gone was the rigid, class-based education system of his era, replaced by a system that prized intellectual curiosity, critical thinking, and a lifelong pursuit of knowledge. From a young age, children were encouraged to explore their passions, to challenge conventional thinking, and to contribute their unique talents to the collective good. The arts, sciences, and humanities were given equal weight, fostering well-rounded individuals capable of critical thinking and creative problem-solving. The citizens of 3906 understood that investing in their people, in nurturing their minds and spirits, was the most valuable investment they could make. Perhaps the most radical shift Dinak encountered was the absence of traditional nation-states and the emergence of a unified global society. The people of 3906 had moved beyond the divisions of nationality, race and religion, recognizing their interconnectedness and embracing a shared sense of global citizenship. Governance was about the collective management of resources and the advancement of human knowledge. Dianak witnessed a world free from war, poverty and injustice, a testament to human unity. Despite the many wonders and advancements he witnessed, Dinak was not blind to the potential pitfalls of this seemingly utopian future. He saw that with every great leap forward, there were shadows that followed, casting doubt and concern over the bright horizon. The marvels of technology and societal progress were accompanied by new challenges that required constant vigilance and thoughtful consideration. The people of 3906, he observed, were not immune to challenges or internal disagreements. 
Even in a society that had achieved so much, there were still debates and discussions reflecting the complexity of human nature and the diversity of thought. These debates were crucial as they allowed for the exchange of ideas and the continuous improvement of their society. They spoke of past mistakes, of periods of ecological devastation, societal unrest, and the ever-present danger of backsliding into old patterns of greed, fear, and division. These memories served as a stark reminder of the fragility of their achievements. The scars of history were visible in their collective memory, urging them to remain vigilant and proactive in safeguarding their environment and social harmony. The reliance on technology, while a source of great progress, also presented ethical dilemmas. The more they advanced, the more they had to grapple with questions of morality and the potential consequences of their innovations. The ethical considerations surrounding their technological advancements were a constant topic of discussion, ensuring that progress did not come at the cost of their humanity. Dinak sensed an undercurrent of anxiety surrounding the development of artificial intelligence, a fear that their creations might one day surpass their creators and upset the delicate balance they had achieved. This fear was not unfounded, as history had shown the dangers of unchecked technological growth. The potential for AI to evolve beyond human control was a source of both fascination and trepidation. The spectre of complacency, of taking their peaceful and prosperous existence for granted, also loomed large in their collective consciousness. They knew that maintaining their utopia required constant effort and awareness. Complacency was seen as a silent threat, one that could erode the foundations of their society if left unchecked. They were a people acutely aware of their past, acutely aware of the fragility of their hard-won utopia. The lessons of history were deeply ingrained in their culture, serving as a guide for their future actions. Historical awareness was not just a subject of study, but a living, breathing part of their daily lives. The lessons of history, it seemed, were not lost on them. They had learned to value the importance of remembering and learning from the past, to avoid repeating the same mistakes. This historical consciousness was embedded in their education system ensuring that each generation understood the significance of their heritage. They understood that the preservation of their way of life required constant vigilance, a willingness to adapt, and an unwavering commitment to the principles of unity, compassion, and the pursuit of knowledge that formed the bedrock of their civilization. It was this commitment that gave them hope for a sustainable and harmonious future. Their dedication to these principles was the cornerstone of their society, providing a beacon of hope and a path forward in an ever-changing world. Now you might be thinking, this all sounds a bit far-fetched, doesn't it? It's natural to be skeptical when faced with such extraordinary claims, and you wouldn't be alone. Dinak's story, while captivating, has been met with its fair share of skepticism, and rightly so. Many have questioned the plausibility of his experiences, wondering if it's all just a figment of his imagination. Extraordinary claims, as they say, require extraordinary evidence, and in this case, the evidence is largely anecdotal, resting on the foundation of Dinak's own words. His narrative, though detailed, lacks the concrete proof that many seek. The absence of physical evidence makes it difficult for many to accept his story at face value. The most glaring omission, of course, is the diary itself. This crucial piece of evidence is nowhere to be found. Without it, the story remains incomplete, shrouded in mystery. While excerpts have been published and translated, the original document remains elusive. Scholars and enthusiasts alike have searched for it in vain, hoping to uncover the truth behind Dinak's words. Its whereabouts unknown, its authenticity unverified. This mystery only deepens the intrigue surrounding Dinak's tale, leaving us with more questions than answers. This lack of physical proof has led many to dismiss Dinak's story as an elaborate hoax, a product of an overactive imagination or perhaps even a well-intentioned fabrication by those who wish to share his vision of a better future. The absence of the diary fuels the skepticism. Some suggest it was a creative attempt to inspire hope and envision a brighter tomorrow. They argue that even if the story isn't true, its message remains valuable. The skeptics raise valid points. Their arguments are grounded in the need for tangible evidence. Without it, belief in Dinak's tale requires a leap of faith. Without access to the original diary, the cornerstone of his claims, without independent verification of its contents, the story remains in the realm of speculation. It's impossible to definitively prove or disprove Dinak's claims. The debate continues, fueled by both curiosity and doubt, with no clear resolution in sight. The story, as it stands, relies heavily on faith, on the willingness to believe in the possibility of time travel and the extraordinary, on the willingness to believe in the possibility of time travel, in the veracity of a single man's account of an experience that defies conventional understanding. It challenges our perception of reality. Whether one chooses to believe or not, Dinak's tale remains a fascinating exploration of the human imagination and the mysteries of time. It invites us to ponder the unknown, and the possibilities that lie beyond our current understanding. 
Adding fuel to the fire of skepticism are certain inconsistencies within Dinak's narrative. Details that seem to clash with established historical timelines, creating a sense of confusion and doubt among scholars and enthusiasts alike. For instance, he describes a global language spoken in 3906, a language he refers to as Pan-European, which he claims will unify diverse cultures and bridge communication gaps. However, linguistic experts argue that the development of such a language, especially over such a relatively short period, is highly improbable, given the complexities of language evolution and the enduring power of cultural identity, which resist homogenization and maintain their unique characteristics. Furthermore, Dinak's account of major historical events leading up to 3906, such as devastating global wars and periods of societal collapse, remain conspicuously absent from other historical records or predictions, raising questions about their authenticity and reliability. While it's true that our understanding of the future is constantly evolving, the absence of any corroborating evidence for such cataclysmic events raises a red flag for those who demand a more rigorous historical analysis, grounded in verifiable facts and supported by tangible evidence. These discrepancies, while not necessarily disproving Dianak's story outright, do cast a shadow of doubt over its accuracy, making it difficult to accept without question and thorough scrutiny. They highlight the inherent difficulty of predicting the future with any degree of certainty, especially when dealing with complex systems like language, culture and global politics, which are ever-changing and unpredictable, making any such predictions highly speculative. The human mind, as we know, is a powerful and enigmatic instrument capable of conjuring up vivid dreams, elaborate fantasies, and in some cases, even convincing delusions. Dinak's year-long coma, a period of profound physiological stress, could have easily triggered altered states of consciousness, blurring the lines between reality and imagination. Some argue that Dinak's experience might have been a form of lucid dreaming, a state where the dreamer is aware they are dreaming but retains a sense of realism within the dream itself. Others speculate that his coma induced a form of temporal lobe epilepsy, a neurological condition known to cause hallucinations and distorted perceptions of time. The allure of time travel, of course, is a powerful one. It's a theme that has captivated humanity for centuries, fueling countless stories, myths and legends. The desire to peer into the future, to unravel the mysteries of time, is a fundamental human longing and Dienak's story taps into this deep-seated fascination. Whether we choose to believe Dienak's story or not, it sparks our imagination and challenges us to think critically about the future. It forces us to confront the big questions and consider the choices we're making today and their potential consequences for generations to come. Dienak's vision serves as both an inspiration and a cautionary tale. It reminds us that the future is not predetermined, but a canvas upon which our actions will paint the coming chapters. So what do you think? Could Dienak's story be true? Disclaimer. As an Amazon and other affiliate, I earn from qualifying purchases at no additional cost to you. Want to make videos like this? Turn text into stunning videos in seconds. Get free AI and unlock your creative potential. You can create even better videos than mine. No editor is required. Check out the link in the video description below. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. Please like, comment and share the video and please do not forget to subscribe for more videos.